Hi there, Lindy Goodall here for Lindy G Embroidery. So you've downloaded some BX fonts and you're ready to install them. What do you do next? Well, if you downloaded them from my website, lindygembroidery.com, then that file is zipped and it also has a PDF instruction sheet in it. So the process is basically find the downloaded file, unzip it, then drag and drop the enclosed BX file or files onto the Open and Brilliance program. So the problems I receive most often by email are I don't know where the file went on my computer, or the file isn't installing, or the file didn't download. Well, embroidery machines are more or less computer peripherals these days, and to take full advantage of them, you need to know some computer basics. So go take a class either online or live and get comfortable with your embroidery machine, your computer, and your operating system. Since the focus of this video is installing the fonts, and many of you already know how to unzip and find files, I've made separate videos for those topics, and you can find the links to them in the video description in the field below. As for number two, the most common reasons it won't install are that you haven't unzipped the file in the first place, or your software version is just so old that it predates the use of BX fonts. So if your browser doesn't automatically unzip the file, you'll need to do it manually. And I have downloaded this file on my desktop, and on this computer, all I really need to do is double click, and there's my folder. If I open it, you can see there's my BX font, there's my instruction file, and a license agreement. So to install, all I have to do, this is so simple, just drag and drop it onto Embrilliance, and it says the file has been installed. And I just click OK. So now we'll go to ABC and we'll um, go to our font list and we'll scroll down here and there you can see it, Connie 25 millimeter. So you'll notice that it has a needle in front of it and that indicates that it's a BX file, a stitch file and all BX files are created in some other software and exported as stitch files and then made into a keyboard font using another portion of Embrilliance. So they'll have that stitch, that needle icon in front of them to indicate that. The ones without the needle are native Embrilliance fonts and if you're only using Express you're not going to have any of those fonts. So that's just how easy it is to unzip a file and drag and drop it into Embrilliance. I mean how can it get any easier than that? So this works with both in Brilliance and Embroidery Works and once they're installed in there then the program will split them up into two pieces and it stores them someplace on your computer that you don't really need to know about and you really only need your BX file if you need to reinstall at some point so it doesn't matter where you store that part. It's always a good idea of course to back it up in case you ever need to reinstall. So if you should ever get an error message when you're installing or nothing seems to happen or you don't get that little dialog that says it's installed, then something's wrong. And one likely reason is that the file isn't unzipped or you didn't drag and drop the right file or something similar. But if you know you're dragging and dropping the right file and you know that your Embrilliance is current and up to date, then something else is going on and what I would do in that case is just go to the Embrilliance website and file a ticket, a support ticket and they're great. They can help you with anything. I hope this helps you and I hope you get lots of BX fonts and have lots of fun with Embrilliance. Thanks for watching.